What's up, everybody? I'm your host, Brian Watkins, and welcome to another edition of the Brian Watkins channel. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to cut straight to the chase because you know what he's going to bring to you is always a positive message to the viewers and supporters. Ladies and gentlemen, Pastor Bolton. Well, thank you, Brother Brian of the Brian Watkins channel. It, it, thank you. Thank you. It is such a blessing to be here. I know I'm always saying it because it always is a blessing. A blessing, number one, to be alive. A blessing to know who God is and a blessing to know the truth. Well, that's one of God's names, the truth. He is the truth, the way and the life. Our Lord and Savior told us that through him, our Lord and Savior Christ Jesus is the way unto the Father. Well, I'm thankful, grateful, and appreciative of you all who continue to send those messages. I've been getting the feedback from Brother Brian Watkins that you've been sending messages about the very word and scriptures that's been coming to you. Well, I'm Pastor Frederick Bolden of the as we gather ministries with my dear, dear brother, the Lord, Pastor Robert Demjanovic. So that way you know exactly who and what I'm talking about to you first time viewers. Well, I thank God for the Brian Watkins channel because this is definitely an avenue over two million. And what do you got the latest stats, brother Brian? Last I checked uh, over 2.1 million. Thank you, viewers. We appreciate it and yes. continue to support Pastor Bowden and his expansion of his ministry um, mm -hmm. on the Brian Watkins channel and yes. also look more into his website yes. and to expect more expansion on that and uh, yeah. appreciate your support on that continuously as well. Amen. Amen. I thank you, Brother Brian, for that. Yeah. Uh, and and the, the site he's speaking of the As We Gather Ministries site is www.awgm.us. Brothers and sisters, it's a blessing that you've been chiming in because I've been getting a little feedback that we've been getting uh, uh, more viewers than normal. And that's because of the Brian Watkins Channel's viewers. I thank God for you all, and I pray that uh, whatever you get up out of the As We Gather Ministries website, please share it. Share it by pushing the button, but verbally too. You know, verbally as well, share it. Well, brothers and sisters, before I go any further, let's go into prayer. Most gracious and loving Father in Christ Jesus' name, I thank you for each and every one of your children, my brothers and sisters who's watching or listening to this ministry, this ministry that you have placed inside of us in order to give it out to everyone who is thirsty, everyone who is hungry for your, your very word, Father, and the message that goes with your word. For we need it so much, Father God, in Jesus' name, and we thank you for giving it to us. Well, Father God, I thank you for blessing me to be able to be one of your many, many servants to serve up your message for this day. This day that you have made in Jesus' name and in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. And in Jesus' name, amen, amen, and amen. Well, brothers and sisters, I thank God for you all. And we're going to get into some word as we do. And if you have your Bibles, if not, go get them. And once you get them, turn to Matthew, the book of Matthew, chapter 6, verse 14. You thought I was going to throw a bunch of verses at you. Well, there's <laughs> one verse for now, okay? Brothers and sisters, God's word reads, For if ye forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. Well, thank God for that word, brothers and sisters. Thank God for that word. We know, we know from Holy Scriptures that we all have come short. We all have come short of the glory of God. We all have done something in our lives, according to God's word, 
that's wrong, a.k.a. a sin. Well, God says that he know. He know not only have we sinned against him, but we're doing things against one another. Things is not right. Talking about people. Taking something that doesn't belong from you, but it belongs to someone else. Telling those lies. I don't know what white lie is all about, but from what I understand, a lie is a lie. And even just being right out nasty, nasty acting that is. Well, brothers and sisters, a lot of that people would say, well, that came from them doing something to me. The person that that's on the other end of that foolishness. Well, God says don't repay evil for evil. God said revenge belongs unto him. But it's up to us to love one another. Amen. Amen. Well, God says that out of all that you have done, guess what? He loves you so much. He loves us. God, in Jesus' name, loves us so much. He said that he'll forgive what you have done. Come clean to him. Let them know, hey, I've done this, that, and the other. And I found out that it's against your word. Many cases I've been to, it was against your word, but I've come to my senses. I've sinned it your way, Father God. Because your way is the way. Not a, but the way. And I want to come clean. And I know that you said you'll forgive me. But... As God's word says, yes, brothers and sisters, he will forgive you. But he said for you to forgive that one who may have been on the other side of the fence. Maybe you were talked about. Something was stolen from you. Someone told a lie on you. And you found out who or who they or who that person was. Well, God said, forgive them. Now, some of you may be rolling your eyes and saying, oh, yeah, well, I don't know about that one because they really didn't mess me around and mess me up. Well, God said that you really messed up yourself. You messed up with something so beautiful that he has given unto us all the gift of life. And he didn't stop there, brothers and sisters. He said, if we abide by his very word and one of the things of forgiving one another is abiding by his word he has life everlasting awaiting for us so yeah i understand i've been there several times and as long as we're living we may be in that seat again of receiving the lies and the bad attitudes but god said forgive them because after all, he has forgiven us. Brothers and sisters, God's word says in the book of Romans, chapter 12, verse 20. Therefore, if thine enemy hunger, feed him. If he thirsts, give him drink. Praise God for that word, brothers and sisters. Praise God for that word. Not only God said to forgive the person who done you wrong because you want God to forgive you, don't you? Especially before you get a chance to uh, take that last breath. Listen, brothers and sisters, this is the time to get that forgiveness. Once you take that last breath, it's too late. Do it now, please. But God said not only to forgive that person, but if that person came to you and said, hey, my, my money is a little funny. I, I don't have any food left. And you know that you're able to help them. God said, do it. Feed them. If they're thirsty, they want something to drink, give them a bottle of water. Brothers and sisters, it's all about help them out. Yes, it goes beyond the food and the drink. 
If you know someone is late for work because their, their car is broken down and it's in the shop and you see them running and rushing up there to a, a bus stop and you're driving and have time and, and gas to get them to their location, do it. Do it. If someone is contemplating on making a decision uh, uh, about uh, maybe their family, maybe their own personal selves, and you know which way that they should go, open up your mouth and tell them, say, excuse me, but hey, I know exactly where you're talking about uh, doing or going. Hey, go left, go right, go up, go down. Send them on the right path, brothers and sisters. It's all about doing the right thing. Yeah, I know. And God knows even more so that this person I'm speaking of has done you wrong. But remember what God said. You want to be forgiven of your sins, don't you? How about forgiving someone else of their wrongdoings towards you? And not just saying, okay, I, I forgive you. It's squashed. We'll forget it. Or more so, I'll forget it. But I see that you have a need. Guess what? I'm able to help you in that need. So come on, let's go. I'm going to help you out. This is what God wants from us all. Brothers and sisters, I've been there on both sides of the fence. Made somebody mad and somebody made me mad. But I had to learn as well. Well, I pray to God that you learn. And I pray to God that you continue to hit that share button. Whenever you see Pastor Bolton here from the www.awgm, that's the As We Gather Ministry website on the Wines, uh, Brian Watkins channel, please hit that share button. Share it. Share what's going on with uh, Brother Brian as well. Well, I thank God for you all as usual. And uh, I, I ask that we continue to keep all of the fallen police officers, whether in Detroit, Michigan, or wherever throughout the United States of America. Let's keep those uh, families and co-workers, friends and neighbors all in prayer. A lot of those law enforcement officers visited your very children's school just to talk to them and to show their face and let them know that they're there to protect them. Well, let's keep them in our prayers. And speaking of prayers, please join me. Most gracious and loving Father God in Christ Jesus' name, I thank you for this beautiful, wonderful day that you have made and allowed us to witness it all in Jesus' name. Father God, I thank you for your very word and message that's going out unto the masses on this wonderful, beautiful day that you have made. Thank you, Father. Thank you in Jesus' name. And in Jesus' name, amen, amen, and amen. Well, God bless you all, brothers and sisters. And I'm getting a little used to this coming on a little bit more frequent than times past. Let's see if God will bless me to continue to do so. But I do thank Brother Brian Watkins for his channel is continuously growing. Let's go ahead and get him up to that three millionth mark. Welcome, Not to thank say you. that, hey, hey you, you welcome, you welcome. And thank you for the As We Got a Ministry spot that you have notched out. You carved out on your channel. Because I, you, hey, I appreciate it. Pastor Robert Demjanovich sends his love and his prayers unto you, such as Pastor Bowden here. But keep tuning in to this young man. He's growing and growing and growing. And I don't see no signs of him stopping. Well, God bless you all, brothers and sisters. Until next time, I am Pastor Frederick Bowden of the As We Gather Ministries with my dear, dear brother and partner in the Lord. And actually a very good friend as well. Pastor Robert Demjanovic. Saying God bless you all and thank you, Brother Brian Watkins. Until next time, God bless.